Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. Don't know what it is. Don't even care, but leave a like anyway. Um, we're going to be doing a QA and a for you guys, and I actually have somebody on the channel that you guys are super going to love because of two reasons. One, she's a girl, and two, she's still a girl. Go ahead. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Instagamer. So, we're going to be doing a Q&A. If you guys don't know who she is, go check her out. I'm going to link her in the description below. She does all types of games. Pretty awesome content. And we're probably going to be working together in the future. So, definitely, definitely check her out. Also, before we get into this, if you guys could leave like 300 likes on this video, that'd be awesome. It's always tough to get in contact with other YouTubers and have them come on for dual comps. But if you have anybody that you want to come on, let me know in the comment section below. Also, leave your questions in the comment section below because we're all out of questions. And we totally need some more because I'm going to be doing more of these dual comp Q and A's, and I would like it if you guys could leave questions about life, love, happiness, the pursuit of knowledge, games, girls, guys, guys, shoes, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Leave it about everything, and um, we're gonna get into it. We got like maybe 50 questions here, so um, Insta Gamer, would you like me to call you that or your real name? Sure, you could call me Insta Gamer, but for the record, my name is Rebecca. Okay, we're gonna call you Inst Insta Rebecca. Insta Becky. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> not Becky. Never Becky. Never Becky. That's a terrible name. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. It's really nice. So, anyways, you guys, we're gonna get into this right now. We got all these questions. I was gonna say something else. I can't remember. Who cares? Leave a like for me not remembering. Cool. First question comes from Elisha. Elisha. Elisha Wright, and he says, "What made you want to be a YouTuber?" You want to go ahead first? Yeah, sure. So for me, what made me want to become a YouTuber was when I realized you could actually play games on YouTube. Uh, being a girl, I usually watch the beauty community and I had no idea there was really an audience for people watching other people play games. And I was playing games ever since I was a kid. So I just wanted to become somebody who could share that with other people. And when I saw that people liked it and it made them happy, I just pursued it. Okay, awesome. So we kind of have the same type of story. I've answered this question before, you guys, and I'm assuming you left this for them, for the other person commentating, because you guys know my story. But I started YouTube because I, like, totally blew out my shoulder. I do, like, a bunch of fighting stuff, and my shoulder exploded into six pieces. Probably 17, though. And so what I decided to do was watch a lot of YouTube videos, play a lot of Call of Duty, and I, <laughs> I really thought that, like, you couldn't post games on YouTube unless you had, like... Like, unless you work for a video game company. And after I found out that anybody could do it, I started doing it, and that's how I started. So that's the story. Pretty good story, though. Next question from Loki1594. Would you rather have a penis for a nose or a nose for a penis? Oh, my God. I have to <laughs> think about that one. Because if you have a nose for a penis, you would just, like, smell everything. You would, <laughs> but, but, but also, you're missing the key point here. You wouldn't have a wiener. That's the other thing. <laughs> well, no, but... Well, actually, couldn't it just be if you know, have a nose for a penis, by default, your penis becomes your nose? That makes no sense, though, because then the other part of the question wouldn't make any sense, because you would... No, it th <laughs> doesn't work that way. You still have a nose. You have two noses, but one of your noses is a penis. Okay, I think I would rather have a penis for a nose, because it would just shock the hell out of people. <laughs> <laughs> and you could still do it, kind of. You kind of could, but yeah. if you got excited, it would be really awkward. So, uh, oh, that would be kind of bad, though, too, because, hey, you got in a fist fight with somebody, and they punched you in the face, that would be just straight penis shot. So, oh. I'm, I'm not... Yeah, that would be painful. I think I'm going to go with having a nose for a penis, because although I would not be able to partake in sexual activities, nobody would go around calling me freak nose guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> penis face. So, so, I'm going with that one, although it's terrible. Although it's a terrible life. Next question from SMG Gaming. And this is going to apply more to me, because do you play Call of Duty at all? No, not really. What do you do on your channel? Go ahead and talk a little bit about what you do real quick before we get into the rest. Sure. Well, I have a variety gaming channel, so I tend to play any games I think are going to be funny. And I also do Let's Plays, so I tend to do longer series as well as just short, funny gaming videos. And she's really good, you guys. So go check out her channel. Go to her latest video and say something hilarious like penis nose. Yeah, everybody go to her video. Oh, God. <laughs> Go to her latest video and just say penis nose in her comments. Just go just go do that. That should be fun. Ah, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> That's perfect. SMG Gaming says, what do you want more, Black Ops 3 or World at War 2? BO2 is my favorite COD, so personally, I'm really split on this. Have a great day. You also have a great day, sir. Um, 
I personally like Black Ops One and Black Black Ops One was like my favorite Call of Duty ever, and Black Ops or it's the best Call of Duty in my opinion. But World at War was my favorite. So for me personally, um, Black Ops Two was a really good game, but it wasn't my favorite, I guess. And we haven't had a World War Two game in forever, so I would say that we have to go with World at War Two. I think that that would be the best, um, in my opinion. I would like it if it was World at War Two. I don't know. What do you guys want? Do you guys want Black Ops Three? Or World of War Two. Let me know in the comment section below. If we could change, for sure. if we could change World at War to World of Warcraft, that would be my choice. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I I've never played World of Warcraft just because, like, I feel like I would go into my room and I would emerge six months later with like a beer belly and like chips all over my beard. And, like, I would be like, ah, oh, I got no friends anymore, but I'm a level 99 mage. Oh, that was, you know to that was totally my life story. Are you kidding? I would play. You had a beard? Well, not a beard, but I played and I lived at home and I'd be like, Mom, Hot Pockets! And she would give me the Hot Pockets and that was <laughs> Mom, it. Mom, <laughs> meatloaf! The meatloaf! <laughs> That's so horrible. It was That's so terrible... great. Best years of my life. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, next question is, um... Is from me, but we're going to translate it into a question for you as well. Caleb Jones says, hey, what supplements do you use when you work out? So if you guys don't know, I do lift on occasion. So what that means is I do use supplements. Uh, I, I just I take protein. Obviously, I think everybody should. I eat chicken, obviously not a supplement, but I supplement my mouth with it. Nom, 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 <laughs> nom, nom. And I also take creatine uh, pre-workout, uh, BCAAs, amino acids. And I, obviously I take all the other stuff like joint support and um, omega fatty acids, all that good stuff. I think that you need to be on a multivitamin. If you're working out, you need to have your multivitamins and you need to have protein. I think that's all you really need. But yeah, creatine is effective. Um, Pre-workout, I find it effective. And so that's what I use. And here's how we're going to translate the question to you, Instagamer Becky lady. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, don't hit me. We're going to We're going to go ahead and ask you. Um, do you prefer muscular guys or skinny guys? And you know what? This kind of relates back to another question. Some guy asked how to build muscle. Um, hold on. I'm going to read his name real quick. Ra Raptor Bliss says, "How I'm really skinny. I need advice on how to work out. Do everything that I just said. Like eat a bunch of food, like steaks and stuff, and take some protein. There's your answer. But hey, here's how we're going to translate it to you. Do you prefer skinny guys, muscular guys? How big is too big? All that stuff. Go ahead. Okay, it's a good question. I would ideally prefer a little muscular with a layer of fat over it so that it feels good to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome answer. That's It's very reasonable, okay? It's a very reasonable answer. I appreciate it. Well, that. I once dated a guy who was incredibly muscular and just very lean, and it felt like cuddling with a bag of rocks. So as, yeah. as long as there's just a little bit of cushion, I'm good. So you want like kind of like a bear type of fellow, like maybe um like he's like a teddy bear but still a bear, like he's muscular. That's good, got a actually. Bit of that curliness. I'm getting too turned on right now. I can't carry on this conversation. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll switch the question. Uh, that's a that's a that's a good answer. It really uh sets a reasonable bar for people to achieve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hot shot. How short are you, by the way? Uh, me, I'm five foot three. <laughs> so short. Hot shots live part, and this is how you talk to girls, you guys. You just tell them they're short, apparently, and then switch questions when they're getting into it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Android or Apple from Hot Shots Live Party. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Apple just because I do have an iPhone. And what do you say? A hundred percent Apple person. I have never said this anywhere before, but I actually used to work for Apple. I'm totally pro Apple. Wow, pro apple. That sounds like a new type of apple that would be delicious. Like apples with apple. probiotics. That's what you have to take to beef up. Nobody knows what that means, okay? <laughs> Nobody knows, all right? <laughs> Just call me godly says, what is the best job in the world that normal people can be? McDonald's, because they make you happy. No, but seriously. <laughs> Like a normal person, and here's the thing, like I'm gonna talk about this just for a quick second. If you have no education whatsoever and you go out into the work the like the world and you wanna work, I would say like the best job in my opinion would be doing something like maybe um learning how to box and then being a boxing instructor for me, because that would be like really cool, like just to be some type of self-defense instructor or something like that. That's a pretty normal, like a normal person could do that. 
Or you could do what I did. I'm a massage therapist, you guys, if you didn't know. Um, you could literally go to school for massage. It's like six months. And then you have a massage license and you make you make monies. You know what I mean? Like that's stuff that normal people could be. Because for me personally, um, when I see somebody who's like older and they're still working like a job like Carl's Jr. Or like Hardee's or McDonald's or something. To me, I feel like that's somebody who maybe didn't make all the right choices that they could have made. You know, I understand the struggle. But at the same time, you, you got to believe that you could be that you could do more you know what i'm saying so go do some go be a super normal person high fives wow that, those were awkward that high was fives. i just high fived you by clapping my own hands so nice nice wow way to forever alone clapping my own hands <laughs> over here what do you say to that oh i think that's such a good question and i'll really try to keep my answer short but mm -hmm. i think the most important thing you could do is find something that you like doing that you're good at that can make money and pursue that uh, don't do something that's going to just make you a lot of money try to find something that you're going to be able to live with yourself doing for 10 or 15 years you can change your career after that but just find something decent so if you're really into photography or something maybe you want to pursue that but make sure you just pursue other skills on the side like learning how to retouch on the computer or something so you can always position yourself to go where the demand is i would say that's the most important thing and beyond that what you actually choose doesn't make much of a difference just try to make sure you diversify enough so you leave your options open okay i gotta i got something to add into that so i just watched a video by woody's gamer tag if you guys know who i he just is, watched that obviously. too did you did. nice high five <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah <laughs> really cool but basically what woody said and i think this was a really good point that people don't talk about enough he said find something that you like don't hate for a career like if you're going into like high school or college or whatever and people are asking you what do you want to do what's something that like you might not like anything maybe he said maybe your passion is playing you know sitting on the couch and playing video games all day now here's the thing that might not always make you money but if you find something you don't hate maybe you don't hate social studies look into doing some type of history work you know what i mean so that was a pretty cool thing that he said i like that totally agree mg gaming says hey when did you realize you were actually good at video games and do you think you could ever play on a competitive call of duty team Honestly, dude, I could probably pay, play on any team, and it would be like a one-man team because I don't even need the rest of the team to back me up because I'm that good. Um, I, when did I realize I was good at Call of Duty? Uh, back during World at War, because I played COD 4 and I was pretty terrible, but in World at War, I had like a 3.6 KD, and I was just sniping people for days. After I became a sniper was when I really realized, like, oh, I'm the best player in the world. And um, now I'd say I'm still, like, top... I'm I'm really I think that I'm really good at the game to be honest with you guys like I think that I'm not like pro level or J nasty level but I'm like one notch underneath them so that's my thing and I played games since I've been little so I've always been kind of good I guess how about you uh, well definitely not Call of Duty for me but um, I used to play chess competitively and I <laughs> <laughs> nerd oh my God. I have a chess board right next to me I love chess we should play sometime yeah I know I saw your chess board in your last uh, vlog that you did but uh... hey don't be creeping on me all right okay. don't be creeping on me up in what, here but chess with is, my chess board but chess is so sexy didn't you see that Austin Powers chess scene do you remember oh. that? <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Dude, Austin Powers is the best show ever. I love Austin Powers, but uh, for me, the, the video game that I played most competitively was World of Warcraft. I know, nerd, but uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, back then I did play that pretty competitively, and I really think anyone could play any game competitively if you're driven enough to put in the time. That's always going to be what sets you apart. Cool, cool. I like, I like that. I like what you're saying here. Let me look at these questions real quick. What? Tell, tell them a story about life real quick. Oh God, uh, most of my stories are not appropriate. Um... <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> stuff. I don't know. Um, Just stuff. Okay, all right. I'll tell you a random fact. I used to play roller derby. Whoa. All right. So here's the thing, you guys. We got a bunch of questions left right now. So we're going to record another video. We got a few more questions that we're going to kill in this episode. So we got like four more. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. I'm down. Are you down? I'm so down. Super down. Everything Goku has a couple questions for me. Let's go ahead and talk about it. He says Goku versus Overflow. Probably Goku. If you could have the seven Dragon Balls. Are you familiar with Dragon Ball Z? Oh, not really. Oh my god. Why? Why are you here? <laughs> what is going on? 
if you could have the seven Dragon Balls, what would you wish for? So basically, the Dragon Balls are these balls from dragons. <laughs> <laughs> They're these magical orbs, and if you collect all seven of them, you get to make a wish. And it can be anything. What would you wish for? Oh my god. Um, so it's basically like rubbing a genie lamp where you could have whatever wish ba you want. Exactly, but never compare it to that because it's not that. It's Dragon Balls. <laughs> um, Alright, I guess my honest to god wish would be to never, like, to have enough money in my life that I never need. Like, I'm never wanting for money because it would free, it would just free me to pursue the stuff that I really want to do that truly makes me happy. That's a good answer. Um, I was going to say that you kind of sound a little bit greedy um, at first, but then I thought about it, and if I wish for money, I... You know what? I would want the power to grant wishes. That would be my wish. Oh, that <laughs> is so... God damn it, you made me look terrible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Ah, clutch. Clutch answer there. Good job. Hmm. Good job, over it. <laughs> I do good at stuff. Next question. From uh, from him, actually. One, one last question. From him, he actually he actually asked a few, but these are like, these are a lot of questions. So, here's the last question. Are you ready for the last question that he asked? Never That's been more ready time. in my life. Ah, good. All right. I want to start YouTube, and I have 19 subscribers. Wish me luck, Overflow. Any good tips? If you have, here's my tips, real quick. Me and Rebecca, would you, me and Instagamer, we're just talking about this forever. Here's some tips, real quick. You need to get yourself out there. So you need to network a little bit with other guys your size, obviously. In addition to that, I think that you... Here's how I gained my first, like, 250 subscribers. I went to video game boards, and I would, like, post my videos there. I'd be like, hey, here's some tips on this. Or, hey, you guys, here's what I found in this game. And that's how I gained my first 250 subs. And um, that would be my advice. Upload consistently, go to video game boards, and network with other people, like, other smaller guys. There's my advice. Awesome. Well, um... I have a lot of advice. I'm actually starting a series on my channel with advice to how to grow a channel. So if you want to check that out, it might help you out. Um, but there's a couple of things. Uh, I'll break it down to two really big tips. The first tip is do not give up. It is so hard in the beginning when you don't have an audience yet, like a big audience, and it's very easy to want to give up. But one of the biggest keys to YouTube success is just being consistent. Don't give up. Learn from what you're doing. If some videos get more views, you know, do that. And just never give up when you get discouraged. Keep pushing through. The second thing um, is a lot of people on YouTube tend to feel like if I make great content, it's going to be seen and I'm going to grow. And that's not necessarily the case. There are so many awesome content creators who never get noticed. But the way to fix that is you have to promote yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. There's good ways to do it, um, which is some of what we just talked about. You know, go on gaming boards, stuff like that. But always remember, like, you don't have to put 100% of your time into making videos. Put some of your time into making videos and put the rest of the time into getting your channel out there so people can see the awesome content you're making. Awesome. Cool answer. I agree with you 100%, and I like that. I like, um, it's very real very cool and real so anyway <laughs> so anyways you guys um that was it for the video today almost 20 minutes which is awesome if you made it to the end of the video go ahead and do me a favor and say uh and say what should they say in the comments to know that to let them uh choose? they should say penis nose penis nose <laughs> oh yes i agree with you same idea say penis nose in the comment section below if you made it to the end of the video and if you're still here make sure you leave a like and go check out instagamer rebecca she's super sweet super nice awesome videos face cams a lot if you know what i'm saying <laughs> really cool and um that's it anything you want to say on the way out no that's really it thank you so much for having me and thank you guys for listening it was really fun being here i hope to get to talk to you guys again soon awesome awesome Love you guys a ton, and I am over and out. Oh, yeah. Bye. Cool.